In this video, I'm going to show you how you can still automate your X account, formerly known as Twitter, after Zapier had to unfortunately remove Twitter from their apps that they offer because of the new Twitter API. This was one of my most requested videos, so let's just jump right into it. All right, so the first thing we want to do is to start with our trigger. In this case, you want to search for schedule by Zapier, which is built in app that is going to trigger our flow on a regular basis whenever we want. In the event section, you want to choose every day, if you want to post every day, if you want to post every hour or every month or every week you also have these options over here and then you want to set up more information about the trigger so do you want to trigger it on weekends i say yes and then on the time of the day you can choose when you want to post on x so in this case i chose 6 p.m now remember that this is based on the time zone that you have set up in your zapier account but if you want to choose this one because you are located maybe in europe and the audience on your x aka twitter is located mostly in the united states for example you can actually go to the over here and then here in the time zone you can set up a different time zone just specifically for this app so this is not going to influence anything any other settings or any other apps but because your ex followers are maybe mostly active in the United States and therefore in the United States time zone you can change it over here and say for example that you would want to use America slash New York time zone I'm going to choose this one and then this app is going to always run each day at 6 p.m. but specifically in the America slash New York time zone so this was one of the tip that I wanted to give you because many people have actually asked me about this. I'm going to continue and then you can just test this whether it works. Today is Saturday when I'm making this video so we know that this works and triggers as it should. Alright so we can then hit continue and right now we are going to use ChatGPT as our app that is going to generate the unique viral post for our X account. So in the apps we want to search for ChatGPT. In the event section you want to choose the conversation. I'm going to continue and right now you want to connect your ChatGPT account. It's super simple you go to openai.com you create a profile and you generate an api key that you simply copy and then you are going to be prompted to connect it directly over here but remember you can also do it prior to creating your zap in the app section on the left panel in your menu all right so i'm going to continue and right now as the first thing we have to set up user message which is actually our prompt and for this just to save time i'm going to go inside my database where i store all my ai automations that i have created before and for this video I put together this one that is creating viral posts after the Twitter app is no longer available on Zapier. So we have done the schedule by Zapier and every day as a trigger and then in the second app we are using which is ChatGPT conversation event. I'm going to copy my prompt over here and paste it inside my user message. I'm not going to read the whole prompt you can pause the video and read through the prompt but basically I'm splitting it up into different parameters. Firstly I'm setting up context over here and then I went on X and I searched for the posts that have gone viral and have had a lot of engagement. That includes a lot of likes as well as repost within my niche. And then I copied the tweet and pasted inside brackets over here. I created a viral post example number two as well as number three to give ChatGPT more options and more text to work with. And so the posts that are going to be generated are always going to be different. You can put as many as you want. Just remember to always put the whole prompt in brackets so ChatGPT can easily recognize where the post is starting and where the post is ending. And then I'm writing down the actual prompt based on these three post examples, create a valuable post, rotate between these frequently, starting from example one to two to three, then going back to example one and starting the loop again. It took some time, but I found that this prompt works perfectly. So we never post the same content in two days in a row. Then most importantly, you want to set up a details parameter. Once again, in brackets, I'm writing down at the end of each post, include text on a new line. And then I'm writing down daily tips and pointing direction to my account. This is how you can easily tag yourself in each post so people can easily click on your profile and then go and follow you. Include one hashtag at the end too. You can change this to multiple hashtags. Put each sentence on a separate line. Don't write any characters before or after the post. And then most importantly in the details parameter you want to really set up the length of your post. Remember that right now if you have a free X account you are only allowed to post around 280 characters. So you want to write down never write more than 280 characters including everything so that is going to include this line as well as the hashtags and then I write down shorten the 
longer post in the three examples if necessary. I found that this prompt works perfectly, so you can go and grab it in the first link in the description down below if you are interested. Then for the model, I'm going to use GPT-4 because this is a comprehensive prompt. And then one of the most important things is the memory key. You want to set up a memory key to keep the output consistent. And most importantly, if you remember, the whole prompt is relying on the fact that ChatGPT is always going to remember the prior chats. So it's never going to generate the same post. You can see it, for example, in the context parameter. I'm writing down that you are providing valuable content that is unique and teaches something new each time you write down a post. And then we have the username, assistant name, assistant instructions. You don't have to change these three, but remember you can always experiment with these ones as Zapier is writing over here. But remember, we have already included a lot of information and we have created this comprehensive prompt that includes the context. We could even include other parameters such as style or target group. So if you want to know how to structure these prompts to make them very efficient, then go and check out the first link in the description down below where you will find the totally free no junk resource where I show you the 3P framework that I put together with different parameters. And then in the max tokens, temperature and top P, you can leave this on default options as well. I have videos explaining all of those. Remember, one token is not one word. Here's an example of a paragraph that is 35 tokens long. The temperature and top P basically allows you to be more creative or more focused and deterministic, but you can actually keep it on the default options and we're going to continue. And right now we are going to test this, whether it actually works and whether it generates a post that we are happy with. So I'm going to test this action. So let's scroll down and check the output. As you can see under the response content, we got a first post over here and it's structured very nicely. We have fundamentals of wealth creation and then three tips. And then we also have the hashtag with the line that is also redirecting people to our profile. Now remember, this tweet should be inspired by the tweet number one. So let's actually check that out. We're going to go to the action. And as you can see, it worked because the example number one is structured in a very similar way. And right now, this is the tweet number two, which should be very short and straight to the point. So I'm going to retest the action. And because we set up the memory key, all the chats are saved within the same conversation. So we should generate a post that is inspired by the second example. So let's scroll down and yeah it worked so we got the shorter version we also got the relevant hashtag as well as the daily tips pointing to our profile now i'm going to retest it once again and right now we should get the third example which is a longer version but it still should be below 280 characters so i'm going to scroll down and yeah it worked so this one gives advice to startup founders we have a longer format but it's still within 280 characters including our line as well as the hashtag if i go to the third example you can see that this one was actually the longest. So we right now know that it gets inspired by these examples. It always generates unique ones and it's always going to rotate between these three. All right, so then we want to continue. And right now we want to post this on our X account. And so for this, as you have found out, you are not going to be able to find Twitter because it no longer exists because of the new X API. So instead, what you want to do is that you want to search for something called Buffer. You want to go to buffer.com and create a totally free account. Once you are logged in, you can see that you can add new channels on the left panel over here. So if I click on that one, you can see how many social media platforms you can actually add to schedule posts. And as you can see on the left panel over here, I have already connected my X, formerly known as Twitter account with Buffer. So I can right now go and search for Buffer app. And in the event section, you want to go and choose add to queue. Don't worry, this is not going to just put it in queue or schedule the post. This is going to post it automatically. And I'm going to show you later in the video how that's done. So so I'm going to continue with this one. You then want to connect your Buffer account with Zapier. It's simply just using your credentials to log in and then you're good to go. I've already connected my Buffer so I can continue. And then in the action, you firstly want to specify your organization. If you have created a totally new Buffer account, you're going to see the same as me, my organization. So I have just one, so I'm going to choose that one. You can also set up different tags. This is how you organize them inside your Buffer account. And then you want to choose the channel. So in this case, you're going to see all the social media channels that you have connected with Buffer. As you can see, I have only connected my X, formerly known as Twitter. So I'm going to choose Twitter. And then in the text section, you want to put the dynamic variable from the conversation in ChatGPT. So you want to scroll down and find the dynamic variable called reply. And then in the media, I'm going to go with no attachments, but you can also include image, multiple images, or even video. For example, you could put another step before and say that you want to use OpenAI app to generate image. Then you would go to click on image and then place your dynamic variable that includes the 
URL of your OpenAI image over here. But in this case, we are going to go with no attachments. And then most important thing here is the method. This is where it's going to decide whether the post is going to be created automatically. And that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to click on that one. And here you have different options that you can choose from. What you want to do is to make sure that this is set up to share now. This is, as I have mentioned before, going to allow you to generate the post through ChatGPT and then immediately post it. You don't want to schedule it or anything like that. Of course, you have the option to do so if you want. All right, so we want to share it now and we are going to continue. And right now we are going to test this, whether it works. So I'm going to test this step. All right, so we got a green confirmation over here. And if I go to my X account, I'm going to refresh the page. We're going to scroll down and yeah, it works. We got the post over here that has been generated through ChatGPT and immediately posted on our account. You can see it's structured exactly as it should. We have the text on different lines and then we also have the static component of the post as well, which is daily tips. We are correctly tagged as well so people can click on it. And then we also have a hashtag generated. Now, if you struggle finding posts that are within your niche and have a lot of engagement, you simply want to go to explore over here. And then for example, we are going to search marketing in this case, you then get the results. But what you want to do is to click on these three dots over here and you want to go to something called advanced search. I'm going to click on that. And then you can define the words that the post should include as well as the hashtags. So for example, let's go with hashtag marketing in this case, you can set up the language. So let's say I would only want the English language. What I recommend you would be to go and untick the links. We don't want any links in the output. And because we want to find the actual post and not replies, you can also untick replies. And then here is the most important thing. You can define the actual engagement of that post that is going to be shown in the results. So here I would recommend you to focus on reposts. So let's say the post should include the marketing hashtag and should also have a minimum for example 50 reposts and so you can adjust this however you want to and this is how you can actually find the most viral content that you can then utilize inside the prompt that I have shown you you can also define the dates for example if your account is about chat GPT and AI maybe you want to show the posts that are starting from November 2022 because that is when chat GPT was launched and that's how you can also look for the most recent trends so just to make it simple I'm going to to name it by the app order I'm using to immediately know what it includes. So schedule ChatGPT buffer X, and then you're good to go to publish it over here or in this corner over here. Now, if you really want to know how you can write prompts like these, go and check out the first thing in the description down below, where you are going to find a totally free no junk resource that I put together. Remember, you can also get my AI automation database, which I update on a regular basis. You're going to find different automations over here. If you scroll down, that is going to include the zap order, trigger event, most important the prompt that you can just copy and paste and then you also have the action that you have to perform with that specific output that ChatGPT generated for you for example we used add to queue and method share now you can get it in the first link in the description down below as well all right so i hope this video was helpful if you enjoyed watching this video or if you learned anything new please give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in more ai automations with zapier definitely subscribe down below because that is exactly what my channel is all about and if you enjoyed watching this video i believe you're also going to enjoy watching this video that you can right now see on your screen. Thank you so much and have a great day.